there are people around who want to kill the church that needs to be killed. I say, well, every time they'll be preaching prosperity. That's what he's sent to preach. You face your own. Face your own. Face your own. Amen. <laughs> you know, in the market, there are different stalls. There are those who sell spare parts. There are those who sell iron rod. There are those who sell cement. Every customer goes to where he has the good being sold. So display your good. Sell your good. Preach your message well. Stay on your assignments. Instead of focusing your eyes on somebody else's assignment. Otherwise, stomach ache will trouble you too much. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let me quickly say this, please. I believe we may have been told, discover your area of strength and focus on it. Twice now, close people have met me and said, please, can you call Pastor Paul in Nietzsche to pray for us? So why not? Up till about two, three weeks ago, I called this place. My wife called the police and said, please tell pastor that we are sending so-so person. The person believes in you. Did I not pray for him? I prayed for him. But he requested. Maybe there's something he saw in him that is not in me. Amen. And as usual, he said, why not? Let them come. Let them come. Because that's what they are there for. We are loaded and packaged with different virtues. There is no need to castigate anybody. There is no need to bring down anybody because you want to rise. There is nobody to. There is no need to stop anybody from going somewhere. I have never queried anyone for leaving the church I pastor. I just tell myself maybe my ministry is over to him. And I see some of them in some churches where I go to and I still greet them very joyfully, excitedly. I hope you are doing well. Just make sure the most important thing is that you make heaven. I can't pass to everybody. Pastor Paul can't pass to everybody. None of us can pass to everybody. Identify your area of sin. I can't jump like Pastor Paul is jumping. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I'm saying this because, please permit me, I'm shooting two, three minutes beyond my time. There is a lot of competition going on in ministry today. You are not called to complete, but to complement. You are not called to be famous, but to be faithful. You are not called to be popular, but to be peculiar. Stop seeking popularity. Stop having stomach ache when someone is making progress. I'm not saying this to flatter our host or to make myself feel important. There are times I just send a message. I watch the crusade in Kano. I watch the crusade in Ibadan. This final night will be very great. That's my joy. I don't go on crusade, but someone is there doing it. Let's send them with goodwill. Amen. <laughs> Listen to this. My wife and I, we pray for a number of our co-laborers from time to time. We pray for them. The proof of love and commitment to your co-ministers is in your ability to pray for them. And beyond, occasionally send seeds to whatever they are doing that impresses you. We are glad this is happening. We are happy things are going on there. Stop creating stomach ache for yourself. By reason of good things that God is using others to do. The faith dome here is not Pastor Enenche's own. It is for the entire body of Christ. It's for the glory of God. It's for our honor. It's for our pride. Everywhere we go to, we rejoice at the doings of God. It's happening everywhere, all across the globe, including in Canaan land. 
building mighty structures for Jesus. Everyone, except those who have stomach ache, <laughs> are not happy with them. Why are they building? Why are they building? God sends us differently to create fear. Why are they talking about prosperity? That's why wicked people can touch us. They don't only fear our anointing, they fear our resources. Fear our resources. They fear our resources. And there's nothing they can do about it because we didn't get our resources in crooked ways. What am I saying, brethren? Permit me for keeping you standing, Pastor Paul. I'm saying this, let competition be over. You know how to, you know how to shake the devil? When you hear your fellow minister is doing something, go there. Have an handshake and tell him we are praying for you. We are standing with you. And if you are blessed with something to offer, this is our seed. Because you can't give to somebody and still hate the person. No. Let's destroy the devil. And finally, let each person focus on his assignment. If God sent you as a prophet, stay on there. If he sent you as evangelist, stay on there. If he sends you as a pastor, as a teacher, and on different subjects. Do you know that even among prophets, there are differences? There are prophets that causes. There are prophets that weep. Like Jeremiah, he's a weeping prophet. Elijah, a killing prophet. And yet God was supporting each of them to prove that he sent them. Because there are people in the church, there are people around who want to kill the church that needs to be killed. So they stand up. There are prophets who teaches forgiveness. There are other prophets who teaches judgment. They are all doing their jobs. How do I know? God is confirming their word. God is confirming their word. Hallelujah. There are those who teach success. There are those who teach healing. Don't castigate somebody. There are those who teach prosperity. Don't say, oh, every time they'll be preaching prosperity. That's what he is sent to preach. You face your own. Face your own. Face your own. Amen. <laughs> you know, in the market, there are different stalls. There are those who sell spare parts. There are those who sell iron rod. There are those who sell cement. Every customer goes to where he has the good being sold. So display your good. Sell your good. Preach your message well. Stay on your assignments. Instead of focusing your eyes on somebody else's assignment. Otherwise, stomach ache will trouble you too much. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. No one has the authority to judge another person's ministry. No. God didn't give that authority to anybody. Say, sir. Aha. Thank you. Stay on your assignment. Stay on your job. Make a mark. There is no calling that is inferior. Every somebody says, You see, the reason why I don't see miracles is because I'm not a teacher. That's not true. I teach every day. In the church where I minister this month, we had a record of over 250 healing testimonies through teaching, through teaching, through teaching. Don't say, See, I'm not, I'm not an evangelist. That's why I do. Face, Jesus was teaching and preaching and healing. Don't say, see, the reason why we are not prosperous is because we are not teaching prosperity. It's not true. Jesus didn't teach prosperity when the woman brought an alabaster oil and poured it on his head and poured it on his feet. Be faithful in your assignment. Everything you need will meet you on the way. Be faithful in your assignment. Everything you need will meet you on the way. Don't look at this ministry and say, oh, can you see why God is so partial? Find out where they were 25 years ago. I was there. I was there. I was there in their office when there was no air conditioner. I was there in their office when the table will require balance with a bottleneck. Like my own when I was in Meduguri. I wanted to make wood, I mean table. I told the brethren in the church, I said, can you make a table for me? 
He said, where is the money? I said, don't you have off-cut wood in your, in your side? So they went and used off-cut wood. By the time they put the table on the ground, one leg was easier. So I put bottleneck to shock the leg. Come on table, you must stand strong. You must stay where. Now lift up your hand, please. Permit me for the time. Lift up your hand. Be strong! Be strong! Be strong! Please let me request you, Pastor Paul. Let's pray this prayer together. Be strong. Be strong. That's what God told me to tell you. I'm not just, just saying it, I'm prophesying it on you. Be strong! Now everybody begin to pull down every weakness in your life. Spiritual weakness, mental weakness, physical weakness. Tear them down right now. Raise your voice. This is altar of strength. Raise your voice. Raise your voice. If you can pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the